Welcome to the e-learning for Sage 50 on the topic of purchase capital goods. This topic will guide you the steps to enter capital goods details for proper GST reporting purpose. In general, capital goods are tangible assets that an organization uses to produce goods or services such as office buildings, equipment and machinery. Under the GST provisions, the definition of capital item includes all goods that can be capitalized under the accepted accounting principles. Any capital goods used by a person in the course or furtherance of a business. Any capital goods not solely for the purposes of selling. And any capital goods valued at RM100,000 or more per unit exclusive of GST. If you are doing wholly taxable supply, you can claim the input tax in full in the same taxable period when you purchase the capital goods. If you are doing both taxable and exempted supply, you will need to perform capital goods adjustment annually for the input tax claimed. For machinery and equipment, you will need to perform capital goods adjustment for five years. For land and building, you will need to perform capital goods adjustment for 10 years. When you purchase the capital goods, you will still need to enter fixed asset journal entry as usual where you debit the fixed asset GL account and credit the bank cash or supplier account. After that, go to this menu to maintain the details of the capital goods such as description, amount. GST amount etc. Let system handles the rest for you. To understand how system calculate the residual input tax recovery rate for capital goods adjustment, please refer the to the e-learning video of the topic of partial exemption apportionment. Thank you, and have a nice day.